Hi everyone, today I am with you a guesstimate problem. In this video, we will discuss what are the guesstimate and how we can solve our guesstimate problem. What are the approaches and how we can think a approach to solving a guesstimate problem. Let's see first uh, what is guesstimate. Guesstimate is an approximation based on available information. Most of the time we have only limited information is available. In this, uh, we need to understand the approach towards the problem and uh, based on problem, we need to apply up our approaches. And guesstimate questions are important from management uh, interview point of view. Now, let's see our guesstimate problem and let's think which type of approaches we can apply to solve our problem. Our guesstimate problem is we need to estimate number of Indians who consume tea. To solve this problem, we need some prior knowledge uh, like uh, we can see here population of India and age distribution of our country. We can see here 0 to 14 years is 30 percent, 15 to 60 years 60 percent and uh, our approach is to solve this problem is first approach is we divide population based on income. We divide our population in three income groups uh, low income group, middle income group and the high income group and on the basis of our income group we divide our income group in age group and then we will find our total tea consumers in India. Let's try to solve it. First we will divide our population in income group. Our first income group is low income group. Low income group. And the total percentage of people in low income group is 30% of people 30% approx mm, approx we can say 30% of 130 crore is 39 crore we took 40 crore approx that will be helpful in our calculation Second income group is middle income group. Middle income group. That is around 60% of our population. 60% that is 78 crore 78 crore people in middle income group and uh, third and last is high income group high income group is ten percent people in india is in high income group that is about uh, 13 crore. Now we will divide it on the basis of age group. In the age group, First, we have low income group. In low income group, 
first age group is 0 to 14 and that is the 30 percent of our population around 30 percent of uh, 40 crore Thirty percent of forty crore is about twelve crore. Let's assume these people are not consuming tea because of age group, low age group, and uh, low income group. Now. is middle age group middle age group is 15 to 60 years and uh, total number of people are 60 percent that is uh, 24 crore people these are the some working person and uh, let's assume due to low income group only 40 percent only 40 percent of these people are consume only 40 percent consume tea okay only 40 percent and this is our column total tea consumers total tea consumers and the 40 percent of 14 crore is Sixteen sixteen crore people they consume tea or uh, in high is third age group is sixty plus year age group that is only about ten percent. It's about four crore people, and in four crore only, let's assume only ten percent of people, only ten percent of people are consuming tea. Only ten percent, and uh, ten percent is. 40 lakh the second age group second income group is middle income group okay or In middle income group, total number of people are 78 crore people. Let's apply these also here. The age group 0 to 14, 30 percent, and the 30 percent of the of 78 crore is. Let's assume it 80 crore. It will be very helpful to in our calculation. First calculation 80 crore, approx 24 crore. Okay, approx 24 crore people. And in that, some students are consuming tea. Let's assume some student consuming tea only 10%. Only ten percent consume tea. Then 
that is about only 24 lakh second age group is 15 to 60 year group and that 15 to 60 year group are 16 percent and that is a 48 crore people and let's assume approx 60 percent because these are working professionals most of them are in working pro professionals and uh, some are students that's why they consuming tea and some consumes other beverages or some are not approx 60 percent consume tea or uh, we can took it only 50 percent only 50 percent consume tea that is about 48 crore 50 percent is 24 crore last age group is 60 plus years age group in middle income group is uh, about 10 percent 8 crore people and in 8 crore we can consume 25 percent people consume tea approx 25 percent people approx 25 percent consume Tea. or that is total 2 crore people ok 2 crore people now last income group is high income group and uh, in high income group Total number of uh, people are 13 crore. In high income group also first group is 0 to 14. 30 percent people and in 30 percent. Let's assume. They don't consume tea because they consume other beverages or uh, due to high income group let's assume they don't consume tea uh, second age group is uh, 15 to 60 years that is about 16 percent people uh, about uh, approx 8 crore people approx exact 7.8 we took approx 8 crore people and in 8 crore only 10 percent only 10 percent consume tea because they consume other beverages also that's why we took here only 10 percent and uh, some are don't consume anything then uh, 80 lakh the last age group is 60 plus years and 10 percent is about uh, 1.3 crore people and in 1.3 crore people Let's assume they are also not consume tea because of health issues or they can consume other beverages or they are consuming. That's why we are not count it. Now let's count total tea consumers.
सिक्सटीन करोड़ एंड ट्वेंटी फोर करोड़ फोर्टी करोड़ फोर्टी टू करोड़ अराउंड फोर्टी फोर करोड़ अप्रोक्स फोर्टी फोर एंड फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव करोड़ टी कंज्यूमर्स टोटल टी कंज्यूमर्स इज अप्रोक्स फोर्टी फोर करोड़ अप्रोक्स एग्जैक्ट वी फाउंड इट फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव करोड़ टी कंज्यूमर्स Let's highlight it. This is our result. Approx forty three point five crore tea consumers in India. These type of problems we can solve by our population approach and age group approach. Thank you.